this is Mavi. Today we're going to talk about more rare beauty products. Is it something that you are interested? Keep on watching. I like to start with my eyes. Well, I actually like to clean my face, hydrate it, do my eyebrows, curl my lashes with a spoon. Yes, with a spoon. <laughs> and then finally, I like to put some type of uh, balm so my lips are hydrated by the time it's ready for the lips. So Rare Beauty has this one that is called the Dewy Lip Balm. And the shade that has no color actually is called Honor. All right, so we're gonna start first with the concealer. Uh, here, here, a little bit here, a little bit here. I'm going to start blending everything. I like to conceal all around. And with the rest that I have left, I like to get around my brows and on these areas that are hard to get to with a bigger brush. And I'm just going to lightly powder. So I'm adding some of my eyebrows. And here. Alright, so here's the Discovery palette. This is the latest eyeshadow palette that she came out. As you can see, it's nice and flat and it has this curve. So she said that you can put the stuff on top of it. It's kind of cool packaging. Let's take a look inside. Beautiful, right? Even though I see a fuchsia and a yellow over there, to me, when I see this palette, I see natural looks. So the plan is to create a very natural look first and then to amplify it and to make something more fun. So let's play with it. We wanna grab this one. This one is called Genuine. I'm gonna start placing the color right there. If it's easier for you, because it's easier for me, is to start with your eyeliner so you know exactly where to place your eyeshadow. And as you can see, I'm building the color all the way to the front, basically, but I'm not really touching this inner part. The color that I see in the palette is the same color that I see in my eyelid. And sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes when you see a color in the palette and you put it on your lips, it doesn't translate the same way. The other thing that I'm seeing is that it's very blendable, which is a plus. And the other thing that I'm seeing is that it's very buildable because I love my bold eyeshadows, don't get me wrong, but sometimes they can take you to the other stream. And when they take you to the other stream, your whole look is sometimes completely messed up. With my mini booster from Synergy, I'm gonna grab the same color and I'm gonna place it underneath. I like to do this because I feel like if you're putting something above, you wanna you wanna balance it out. Also because it allows you to create this angle that I love and I think it's pretty flattering for everyone. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check my first video when I go on depth on this. Now I'm gonna grab a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna dip in the color Positivity, I think it's called. The one next to the yellow one. I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna bring it one third of my eye. I'm going to add the eyeliner. I'm gonna grab the deeper color right here. I'm gonna create that angle that I was telling you about. Honestly, I thought this shadow was going to be darker, but it's not. So if you were looking for something darker, you're not gonna get it in this palette. Once you're done with this, you can probably add mascara if you want to add eyeliner, you can do that. And this is a very natural, cute look. And we're gonna see if we can make it a little bit more fun. The color that is speaking to me is this one. And I'm going to place it right in the middle. And I'm going to keep on building it, which is allowing me. This shadow is really nice. That more. Because why not? I'm going to dip on the golden one right here. And I'm just going to stamp it right there there you go I'm gonna even bring this color underneath okay. 
And finally, we're gonna use the one in the middle. Selena Gomez said that you can use it with your fingers. If you don't like to use your fingers, you need a really good brush that allows you to pick up all the sparkles. But other than that, you can always use your fingers. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna dip. Oh, I dip a lot. So just be gentle. <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard pressed, but it's not. It's very soft, actually. So you see how much I pick? I wasn't expecting that. That's all right. We live and we learn. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna stamp it right in the middle. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a lot of sparkles. Now I'm experiencing ball out, but that's because of my mistake because I grabbed too much on my finger. Just so you know, you don't need to press your finger too hard. It's very sparkling. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to bring it up like this. It's kind of soft too, so you gotta be careful. I'm gonna press my finger like this. I'm bringing it up a little bit, just so you know. And I'm gonna turn like this to see if it's even. I'm just sweeping away very lightly. My eyelashes too. But yeah, this is why I like to do my eyes first, because then I can clean and I don't mess anything else. I'm gonna dip in here, just this one, by the way. I wanna see how it looks. And I'm gonna create a little bit of depth here. Now these two dark colors, this one and this one, especially this one, are not as dark as they seem to be. Definitely you're not getting like a super, super dramatic dark look with this palette. Bringing this yellow a little bit up. When you put the eyeshadow right there, people are gonna see it. I'm gonna do some liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna come back. All right, so I'm back. I did my liquid eyeliner with the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. I have another Rare Beauty video, I don't know if you saw it, but if you haven't, go check it out because over there I explain in more detail how I do my wing eyeliner. Also, I did my mascara, I used probably two or three layers, and yeah, that's it. Alright, I have some cream in my palm, and with a Q-tip, so I'm just gonna like cover it, and I'm gonna go underneath my eyes I'm gonna try to pick up as much as glitter I can right now my favorite part I'm just gonna grab again some concealer I'm gonna put a little bit here and I'm gonna try to get all the product inside the brush and then I'm gonna start cleaning again I'm gonna start here down and then as I move forward I'm gonna go upwards so I really like to do this because you can really fix any mistakes, create sharp lines, and that's Olivia in the background. Olivia is my other dog, by the way. She's tiny though, it's funny. <laughs> I have two big dogs, they're quite quiet, but if Olivia starts barking, game over. All of them start barking. So I got this highlighter. Uh, the color is Transcend. There's something interesting about this highlighter because when you see it in the bottle, I'm gonna shake it first. When you see it in the bottle, you see like a very strong highlight, right? But then you apply on your skin and you see it there. But then if I blend it, kind of disappears. It's very, very natural almost like a sheen so if you like that type of look like not too much highlight i think this is gonna be perfect for you i'm gonna add it in my highest points now that i know it's not that strong i'm not afraid and i'm just gonna diffuse all right do you see it i think it's very pretty very natural though I'm just gonna use the concealer, a few dots in here, a few dots in there, and this should be it. Very natural. It, it seems like it's my skin. I love this concealer. I think the blushes from Rare Beauty are one of the favorite products. 
Um, actually, she came out with two formulas. One was the soft pinch, this one's over here. And this one came out also with two different form formulas. Like one is more matte and the other one is more satin and you have different colors too. Then uh, she came out with the latest one, which is the melting blush, which is like a nice cute little pot like this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put one in one side, one in the other, and you can compare. At the end of the day, I believe blushes, they look pretty similar on the face. So that's why I wanna put one here and one the other here, so you can see kind of like the difference in the contrast. All right, so here I have the two formulas. One is matte, and this one is called Grace, and the other one is called Lucky, and it's more satin. What I experience with these soft pink blushes is that they're super pigmented. You don't need that much. Right there. I'm gonna grab my Rare Beauty brush, and I'm gonna start working the brush. So let's do it here. Also, my blush, in my way, I like to use it a little bit up because I like to create that lifted effect. Okay, let's add a little bit more, but I think it's too much already. I'm just gonna do it for you so you can see the difference. And now I'm going to be more gentle so that layer underneath doesn't move. And this is how you're supposed to be adding your layers when you're doing your makeup. As you keep on adding more layers, you should be more gentle. Even if it's too fast, because I like to move my brush really fast, I need to make sure that it's very gentle. I'm going to grab Lucky. This is more like a satin finish. I'm just gonna put a little bit there, and this is a lot already. So I'm gonna start moving and depositing the color. Look, if I put this directly onto my face, I will look like a clown. Very gentle. I just use a tiny, tiny bit, and this is a lot already. Lucky. Grace. This one, more matte. This one, more dewy. And probably it's a little bit satin here because of the highlighter that I put underneath. But other than that, it's very matte comparing to this one. Very pretty. All right, so I have here Bliss, which is in the matte formula, and I have here Joy, which is more in the dewy formula. Okay, so here Bliss, the most forgiven. You can apply as much as you want, and it won't show up as super bright. That's what I like. This is also in the matte formula, if I didn't say before. And I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not afraid with this color. I'm gonna add a little bit more so I can show you. This color is really pretty too very natural so for my natural girls lighter makeup girls this is your friend and again I'm applying it more so you can see that you can get a very nice color without overdoing it beautiful okay joy I'm gonna add a little bit here now joy I feel like it's very intense too so you gotta be careful I'm adding just a tiny tiny bit as you can see look at this already everywhere where I like to put my blush many personally I like to follow my eye the middle and then right here and bring it up not like straight up here we have bliss more matte formula you can see that right now when I apply my concealer I forgot to put the highlighter and now this one looks more matte and this is bliss this looks more juicy and lastly I want to do here grateful and this is in a more satin formula and on here I want to do the nearly apricot and this is also water resistant again this one is very very rich this is called grateful so let's see how much I'm doing like nothing and right away you can see you see it's super super nice too this one for summertime is beautiful because it gives you this reddish color it's really nice i'll intensify a little bit more so you can see the difference and i think it's easy to go overboard with this one so you have to, you have to be really careful 
And for this one, I'm going to use my finger. She said that you can put it in your purse and retouch it like this. So I'm gonna try to do what she said. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna use the brush. But let's try with the finger first. The formula is very sheer now that I see. Let's see how it goes. With just fingers. I'm being very, very gentle. Oh, this is super nice too. All right, so here are the two. This is grateful which is very, very lovely, very satin. And this is newly apricot. A little bit satin, I see. It's not fully, fully matte. I see a little bit of sheen coming through, but this one is definitely satin. All right, so I cleaned this side because um, the other one, it's water resistant and already my cheeks, they feel a little bit raw because I've been cleaning them and it feels like I've been exfoliating them a lot. So I didn't want to remove this one, which I thought it was going to be a little bit harder. So on this side, I'm going to try to apply it with the Rare Beauty brush. I already cleaned it well and let's see how it goes with the blush because I did the finger in the other side. I'm being very, very gentle with this. I'm here, I'm here, and my favorite part, which is this one, makes me look like I'm sunburned a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of this highlighter. So I'm gonna add more, let's see. I'm not afraid anymore. But again, it gives you this natural glow. gonna add some powder in the areas that I think I need. Now I'm just gonna slightly bronze. Alright, so Selena Gomez came out with these uh, lip balms. They're really cute, they're very hydrating, but they're also very pigmented. So they kind of feel like lipsticks, but they're very uh, creamy and very hydrating, like I said. The smell is quite similar as the other matte liquid lipsticks that she has. I have a video if you want to check on that too. Okay, so we're going to start with Praise. This one is a nice peachy color. I'm going to swatch it on my arm because it's darker. Like, I'm tan right now, but my face is a little bit lighter than my arms and I want you to see it also in my arms, so you kind of have an idea. Okay, I'm going to wear it. Next, I have the color Bless, and they describe it as a bright coral. So to me, it doesn't look really coral. To me, it looks more like pinkish. So let's see how it looks on my lips. So you see, on my lips and on my skin, to my eye even, it looks very pink. We are right? The next color is called Empathy. Empathy, they describe it as a rose mauve. So this is the color. And let's see how it looks on my lips. Also, let me swatch it here. Like if you are on my skin tone or deeper, this, this is gonna look nice, this one too. This one is pretty, but it looks bright on your lips, so I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> so next color is Thankful. They describe it as a new mauve, so let's see. But yeah, it's very neutral. And it has a little bit of rosiness. I don't know if you can tell. Mm. This is on the bullet. The 
next color is support. They describe it as a plummy brown. So let's see. But they're super, super hydrating. Very slippery too, so you have to be careful. And finally, we have complement. They describe it as a muted berry. So let's see. This is the color. And here. Very deep. You have to be careful with this one. I will finish it with my finger so I have more control. Of the bullet, it can be too soft. And then if you want to blend the color, it doesn't allow you. So first of all, I already talked about this uh, in my other video. This is one of my favorite concealers. Next, about the brush, I also said it on my other video. I love this brush. I've been using it non-stop, so really recommend this one. Okay, so about this palette. Mm, I have mixed feelings. I really like the color story. I really like how the mattes blended. Also, I'm kind of torn by the deep colors, which they weren't that intense. And I really like this color over here and the yellow. It has a nice color payoff. Um, about this one, it's beautiful. I thought this shadow was going to be very, very special because she talked about it. But the only issue with that is that it's very soft. So when you place it on your lid, you don't have control and it has a lot of fallout. Packaging, I give a plus. I love the packaging. Alright, so this little guy uh, is one of my favorites. Actually, if you see my other videos, you will see me using this so that's how much i like it blushes i love both of them i do feel that this one it's a little bit more complicated to use this one over here is super easy you you can apply it with your finger uh, the color is not that strong so it's you you have more control and you can always reapply it uh, but again, they both really, really beautiful. Also, I want to say that if you really want to use this formula, uh, this is your friend, your best friend. This color is Bliss because this one, no matter how much you apply, it's not going to look that strong. And it's beautiful. It's a very neutral blush. So if you want to start with one blush, maybe you want to start with this one. If you like color and you're used to applying different type of products, I will totally go for the other colors. And then I recently got this one. You can put it in your purse. It's easy to apply and it's water resistant. So if you're one of those girls that like to wear makeup at the beach or at the pool, this is your friend. <laughs> this highlighter is very natural. So sometimes you want that natural look. Like I'm not afraid to apply this highlighter. Also, it works beautiful underneath. So if that's something that you want to try, you should try it. All right, so about this little guy. They're very comfortable to wear, but I don't really like how it gets dirty so easily, to be honest. And also because it's not safe. So this is something that you want to take with you, right? Because it's a bomb. Usually I like to put, I mean, if you put it in your pocket, you'll be fine. But if you put it in your purse, this might open and damage everything inside. But I love the formula. As you can see, the colors are beautiful. They feel hydrated, which they're doing their job. And also, there is a lot of pigmentation, so it's not just a bomb that it looks similar in different colors. No, this one really tells you a story in each one. So, these are the swatches again. I love them. So, I recommend them, yes. I hope you liked the video. I tried to do as many swatches as I could. Don't forget to subscribe, to give it a like, or to share. That will help me to create more content in the future. Thank you so much for being with me and listening to everything that I had to say. And till the next one.